the 13 players for Manchester United to rebuild their squad around in the transfer window. Despite finishing 8th in the Premier League and their wooden spoon status in Champions League Group A, Man United have enviable quality to build around. Before the FA Cup final, Eric Ten Hag was so fixated on his only victory over Pep Guardiola, he repeatedly claimed Manchester United's 2-1 defeat of City in January 2023 was the only occasion he was able to pick his strongest side. It wasn't. Diogo Delo was absent with a hamstring injury. Tyrell Malaysia started at left back and Luke Shaw at center back, while Lisandro Martinez, still recovering from his World Cup excursions, was on the bench. Ten Hag was possibly mistaken, as it was the first time he was able to start Anthony Marshall against elite opposition. Marshall lasted a half. It was only when a journalist highlighted the squad selections in a piece that Ten Hag was advised to stop referring to the derby. It was in his interests, as the two games he had his best players available for were more recent. United plundered seven goals in their wins against Wolves and West Ham in February. They made needlessly hard work of it at Molyneux, the scene of their best 45 minutes until the cup final. United were 3-1 up in the 84th minute, but squandered the two-goal advantage before Kabi Menu's magisterial 97th minute winner. Three days later, Ten Hag rested Raphael Varane and recalled Harry Maguire for the only change against West Ham. David Moyes' side had ten more attempts at goal than United, and Moyes opined West Ham were better than when they won the reverse fixture in December. The 3-0 victory flattered United, but they were uncharacteristically clinical. The money shot was of Alejandro Garnacho's celebration after his first goal. Garnacho's apparent send-up of the West Ham winger Mohamed Kudus was fleeting, as he was soon joined on the advertising hoarding by Mainu and Rasmus Hojland. During our interview at Carrington last month, Mainu confirmed the celebration was improvised. Sir Jim Ratcliffe highlighted United's lunch atop a skyscraper a few weeks later as he held court at the Ineos office in Knightsbridge. Ten Hag said afterwards, You see the potential. His case for the defense would have been more compelling had he referred to the W's against the teams beginning with W. It should not have taken the Ineos Brains Trust 17 days to research that United won impressively in the two games that Ten Hag was able to pick his strongest, XI. In the FA Cup final, just three players were unable to travel, and Shaw was the only first-teamer. Ten Hag had such an embarrassment of riches, he dropped Casemiro and Hodgelund at Wembley, banking on Sofian Amrabat's momentum and the tactical flexibility of Bruno Fernandes. His tactical setup was flawless, and United produced their finest performance in years. Wolves, West Ham, and City were a window into what United could achieve with a fullish squad. Mason Mount was sidelined for the former two fixtures, but his first team status was revoked as early as October, and he made one more Premier League start all season. United erred in investing £60 million in Mount when he had entered the last year of his contract at Chelsea. Mount made eight starts and missed 31 of United's 52 games. He and Casemiro were and are a midfield mismatch. Mount's name still cropped up prominently in United's review. Senior figures at the club believe he will come good. Fitness permitting, Mount will have a head start in pre-season with Maynou and Fernandez at the European Championship, but he would not feature in many United fans' strongest XIs at the start of next season. The silver lining for Marcus Rashford after his England squad omission is he can hit the ground running during United's five-game preseason. His and Ten Hag's alliance is an uneasy one, and a creditable FA Cup performance will either turn the page or close the book on his United career. Ten Hag still has a nucleus of players to build a formidable team around. Andre Onana should be more dependable in his second season after an error-strewn first. Dalo and Martinez were integral to the Latino rebranding of a defense that kept the most clean sheets in 2022-23. Mainu, Garnacho, and Hodgelund are the poster boys of the new United, and Fernandez is indispensable. They are supported by resilient professionals who have been around the block. Shaw, Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay are key squad members. 
There is merit in retaining grown-up Academy graduates Tom Heaton and Johnny Evans, familiar with the standards Sir Alex Ferguson set. Having been ignored as a starter for nearly five months, Ahmad demonstrated what an asset he is, and United now regard him as more integral to their future planning. The Academy secured a triple crown last season, and a United campaign seldom goes by without a homegrown breakthrough. Man United rejected? Matthias Cunha drops hint about future amid 60 million euros transfer links to Red Devils. Matthias Cunha has suggested he is in no rush to leave Wolves amid transfer links to Manchester United. What happened? United are looking to bolster their attack following the departure of Anthony Marshall at the end of his contract. Cunha has been heavily linked with the Red Devils, but would cost a sizable fee to prize him away from Wolves. What Cunha said. After traveling to watch his beloved Botafogo in Brazil, Cunha was asked about his future and said, we see this rush, Manchester United, but I'm very happy at Wolves. My focus is on resting and making the most of it with my family. I'm very happy at Wolves. The focus now is to have better seasons and help the club. God willing, I will continue on this path. The Bigger Picture When fit, the 25-year-old was arguably the best player in the Midlands, and he finished the campaign with 12 goals and 7 assists. Having only arrived permanently last summer, Kuna may be in no rush to leave Wolves and is contracted at Molineux until 2027. What next for Kuna? Cunha has been left out of Brazil's Copa America squad for the summer, despite his impressive campaign. The forward has suffered from a few injury issues in 2024, but may consider whether a move to a bigger club would strengthen his case for a spot with his country in future tournaments. Matthias Cunha's hint about his future amidst transfer links to Manchester United, coupled with reports of the Red Devils' rejection, adds intrigue to the summer transfer window saga. The Brazilian forward's comments suggest that while United may have expressed interest in securing his services for a reported 60 million euros, there are indications that a deal may not materialize. Cunha's hint about his future leaves fans speculating about his potential destination, with the rejection from Manchester United prompting questions about the club's transfer strategy and priorities. While the Red Devils are known for their pursuit of top talent, their decision to pass on Kunha raises eyebrows and sparks debate among pundits and supporters alike. The Brazilian's comments may fuel speculation about alternative suitors vying for his signature, with other clubs potentially entering the fray to secure his services. As the transfer window unfolds, Kuna's future remains uncertain, with the possibility of a move to a different club gathering momentum. For Manchester United, the rejection of Cunha signals a shift in focus or a calculated decision based on various factors such as valuation, squad requirements, and long-term planning. While the Red Devils continue to scour the market for reinforcements, their approach to the transfer window comes under scrutiny amidst competition from rival clubs and heightened expectations from fans. As the saga surrounding Kunha's future continues to unfold, Manchester United and their supporters await further developments in the transfer market with the potential for twists and turns as the club seeks to strengthen their squad ahead of the new season. Matthias Kunha's response to questions about his future sheds light on his current mindset and priorities amidst the swirling transfer rumors, particularly linking him to Manchester United. The Brazilian forward's words convey a sense of contentment and stability in his current situation, suggesting that he is not actively seeking a move away from his current club, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Kunha's assertion that he is very happy at Wolves indicates a strong attachment to his current club, highlighting the positive environment and support he has found there. His focus on resting and spending time with his family underscores the importance of personal well-being and work-life balance, demonstrating a grounded and mature approach to his career. While acknowledging the interest from Manchester United and perhaps other clubs, 
Kuna's comments suggest that he is not allowing himself to be swayed by external pressures or speculation. Instead, he remains committed to his current team and is intent on making the most of his time off to recharge and reconnect with loved ones. For Wolverhampton Wanderers fans, Kuna's words may come as a reassuring sign of his dedication to the club and his role within the team. His statement also serves as a reminder of the importance of player happiness and fulfillment beyond the football pitch, emphasizing the human side of the game. As the transfer window progresses, Kunha's stance could potentially impact the dynamics of any potential negotiations between clubs. However, for now, his focus remains firmly on his personal well-being and enjoying precious moments with his family signaling a grounded and balanced approach to navigating the uncertainties of the footballing world.